So if you want to make an ice cold smooth car edit that looks like this. Then I'm going to teach you it in only six easy steps. If you want this footage, head over to my Discord, link to CapCut desktop down below. And with that being said, let us begin. All right, so the first step is to drag in our song and cut it down. Then the first key, and this is a major key, is to use beat markers to mark the beats on our song. This is so that we can actually edit to the beat. I've reacted to hundreds of video edits that are not synchronized to the music and honestly, it just makes me really sad. And this simple trick makes it very satisfying. We do this by finding the point that we want to add a marker and we click this flag here. You can also use the AI markers that come with CapCut as they do help, but I like to do it myself. One key thing you'll notice about this edit is the pacing changes. I don't always cut at the same beat as that can get quite boring. I go from fast cuts to slow cuts and I also do speed ramps that speed up and down to the beat. Basically like a music video. Okay, step two is to match to the beat and add speed ramps. Once we have our markers, we need to organize our shots to the music. I work on the intro first as that's the most important part. The first few beats are quick and consistent so I will do some cuts between close-ups of the car so that when the beat drops, we actually reveal the actual car on a wide shot. Classic filmmaking techniques. However, as we add our clips in, we need to also speed ramp them because the length of them changes that you can simply find by going to speed. I used flash in on the intro shots. But for more complicated speed ramps like this one, I click speed, then customized. And then I create various different points that kind of look like this, that I would adjust and time to the music. If you look at this dotted line here that appears when you click the speed, it clearly shows where the speed changes are going to happen. So make sure that you align these to the music. So for this shot here, I started with a fast speed that went down to zero and then shortly at the next beat, I made the speed go back up. One key thing is to make sure that these triangles are connected for maximum smoothness, not like this. Then it's just a game of moving the speed ramps and watching them so they are aligned to the music and making sure that the last speed ramp speeds up to the maximum speed and then cuts and the next shot starts at a fast speed so you get the perfect speed ramp transition that looks like this. Also, if you're wondering how do you do a reverse speed ramp that looks like this, basically I cut the clip at the point I want the speed to reverse, duplicate it with alt and drag, then I add a speed ramp flash out that I then customize and then I add a speed ramp to the beginning of the shot but I have to realign the length afterwards. And the last thing to remember is direction. Okay, so this one's going left to right, left to right. This one's going right to left, so we're gonna actually reverse this. So I repeated this for all the clips until I got the timing perfectly for our base sequence. Which brings us on to step three, basic transitions. Now, after I've done my speed ramps and I close match the beat, I'm just gonna add a simple mask transition for the beat drop, because I want the transition to be epic. I want this Lamborghini logo to pop up and land on the next shot like this. So I'm gonna alt drag up, the duplicator, click here to freeze the frame. I'm gonna hit B on my keyboard to get the cut tool. Just cut that section. A to get selection tool, click it and delete it. Now I need to mask out this Lamborghini logo. So we will go to cutout, customized, and I'm going to just select the Lamborghini logo. Probably not gonna do it accurately, so you're gonna have to fix it yourself. All right, apply. Cool, cool, cool. We can do whatever with this. You know what, let's just click on that. Go to animation, go to in, and there's tons. Time for some VFX. Our first big effect is ice cold. We're gonna create a blizzard, but without the Microsoft. So let's create this by firstly duplicating our clip by holding Alt and dragging up. We're then going to rotoscope out the car and the floor by clicking the clip, clicking cutout, and using the pen. You do need CapCut Pro for this, so click the link below to get it. If I press V on the bottom clip to hide it, you should see the top clip with the cut out sky. Now we're gonna look for the effect Glowworm, which is going to add these cool particles, which is basically gonna be the snow. I'll also drag snow mist to the bottom clip, so it changes the color of the particles, but that's not all. We want to keyframe this effect so it comes in. And we do this by clicking the top layer, move the cursor a few frames forward, and click the keyframe icon. Then I go back to the beginning and reduce the settings to zero. Now we have the blizzard coming in slowly, but 
that's not all. Let's add some sound design. What we're going to do is we're going to go to the audio. I'm going to slice it up right here. So it's just this part of the audio. We're going to go to voice change. I'm going to make this bass boosted. We're going to add a transition to it. So we're going to drag this down. We're going to extend both sides. I'm going to just drag this in and drag this in. And the top ones, drag them out, drag them out. Right. And then the next thing we're going to do is actually add a sound effect. If you go to sound effect, CapCut has a bunch. I'm going to go to Blizzard. Just going to drag that in. Cool. Now we have this really cool effect. We'll get into sound design in another step. But for this one, I just got really excited. Now let's add some shakes. And the way that we do them is we basically get the cutting tool by pressing B on the keyboard, cut at the beat. So now it's divided into two. Then we're going to go to animation and look for turbulence. And that's going to add the animation. And we can make it shorter by dragging this in. We also want to add one here, add like a shake one here. And we can add them to other sections too. Now onto some cool overlay effects. So at the beginning, I'm going to add this kind of glow effect called horizontal flash which you can find in effects looks like this we basically drag it in we change some settings but the key thing here is we're going to drag it in what we're going to do is we're going to add some keyframes so from this point i'm going to add a keyframe here and towards the end of this i'm going to just drop everything so it goes back to normal it's going to do this kind of really cool effect by the time it gets to this clip here all the effects have gone. At the end, I'm going to add the same horizontal flash effect, but we're going to keyframe the filter strength and glow to actually increase as it gets to here. Now, the most important thing, and I always say this to the end, is to make the speed ramps as smooth as possible. We're going to add motion blur. So I'm going to click on the clip here, go to basic, go to motion blur, make sure where it says times, we make it four times, and then we have to wait. Step five is sound design. Now let's properly do some sound design, you know what I mean? You can search for other sound effects all inside of CapCut, which is f amazing if you ask me. For example, if you want whooshes for speed ramp transitions, you can search them. Risers to help move the story. For this mask transition, because of the effect that I used, I'm gonna add a nice sound effect. Then I repeat this logic for other parts of the video. And step six is color grading. If you watch my color grading video, then you know that I do my color grading in two parts. Step one, color correction, where I go shot by shot and change the contrast, saturation, white balance and brightness to correct the colors so they're all evenly and perfect. And then color grading, where I click adjustment and drag in an adjustment layer, and then I add one of my LUTs, then change the intensity. If you want the full color grading tutorial to get some shots that look like this, then check out this video here. With that being said, I'll see you in the next one.